12 hours ago, 12 Coloradans began the adventure of a lifetime, and before the game began, they were divided into two tribes, Arapaho and Comanche. Throughout the day, they competed in both team-led and individual challenges that pushed them to the limit. After each challenge, the losing opponents would attend tribal council, where one person would be voted out of the game, forming a jury to judge the continuing contestants. Now, four contestants remain, two original Arapaho and two original Comanche. And after one final immunity challenge and two tribal councils, only one will be left standing, winning $100 in cash and the title of Soul Survivor. Let's take a look at these four remaining victors. Self-proclaimed cougar hunter and camp counselor Sam has used his politician skills to get him far in the competition, making sure he's never the target. I vote for you, Noel votes for you, and us two vote for Noel, and Carolina votes for Noel. Early on, he formed a tight alliance with Riley, and the two have successfully voted out everyone they wanted to from the second tribal council on. He's only received one vote the entire competition, but will that change as Sam enters the finale? All right, Riley wins immunity! The nerd always goes far on Survivor, and Riley is no exception. He was able to stay out of the spotlight until the merge when he dominated the eating challenge, making him a threat. You cannot be voted out at the next Tribal Council. His alliance with Sam, Noel, and Chris has led him through the game, but when he saw Noel as a threat, he worked with Sam and Chris to get him out, saving himself from elimination by playing an idol. I'm sorry to tell you, the tribe has spoken. But what other tricks does Riley have up his sleeve? He may just outsmart the competition. The last female remaining has proved she's a force to be reckoned with. Carolina! <laughs> Wins a ah! yes! At the beginning of the game, Carolina found an idol and showed it to both Jules and Steph, solidifying a girls' alliance and taking out two of the biggest threats in the game early on. But after the merge, she was tricked into playing her idol and then lost ally after ally after ally. But if she gets to the final tribal council, she could easily get the jury's vote to win. I broke the coconut! Owen from Total Drama has made it into the finale once more, but this time Chris Batanero is determined to take the dub. After his two closest allies were voted out of the game early on, Chris became a lone wolf until solidifying an alliance with the guys. So far in the game, Chris has been a challenge threat, coming in third on the eating challenge and winning immunity on the quiz. But being in the finale is nothing new to Chris. On The Amazing Race Colorado, he and his brother Alec placed second, and so far he's held his own throughout the season. But will this reality TV pro be able to finally pull out a win? competitors have outwitted, outplayed, and outlasted eight other people and are just one challenge and two tribals away from victory. Will it be Sam Strait, Carolina Vita, Riley Burgess, or Chris Batanero who wins it all? Find out right now on the shocking, dramatic final conclusion of Survivor, Colorado.
a dude just does. <laughs> Sometimes it just does that. It really didn't feel like that. <laughs> It was a good ride. It was fun. It was definitely fun. <laughs> Break his head. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. You did really good. Thanks. You and Riley? We'll never see good you stuff. Again. Yeah. This is it. You're gonna be at a party, right? Yeah, I'll be at a party. Well, you'll still be here too. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Wait. Did it die again? No, it's uh. Oof. <laughs> or like five minutes left. I gotta go. Why was this? Dying. Oh, I That's Riley. Who's <laughs> <laughs> oh. water bottle? Mike. Okay. I feel like I've been out here. Guys, final four. How's it feel? Yeah, nerve-wracking is a good word too. You have one challenge left in Survivor. It's your last challenge. Once again, immunity is back up for grabs. Chris, I'll take it back. All right. Once again, immunity is back up for grabs for today's challenge. You guys are going to have 10 minutes to compete in the final challenge on Survivor. Here's what you're doing. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna run around all this area, anywhere in this area, okay? Basically, you need to find some rocks because right here, you're going to build a rock stack. Ooh, Riley, I saw some enthusiasm over there. I happen to be a experienced rock stack. Really? All right then. The person who gets the tallest straight up. Yes, the person who gets the tallest in 10 minutes back here will win the rock stacking oh, I mean, challenge. Is it like searching as 10 Any, minutes? As many, it has to be built in 10 minutes. You, you have to have it built and find all the rocks in 10 minutes, okay? So, I'll set a timer. Set timer for 10 minutes. Survivor's ready. Go! Rock. Okay. Hey, um, cameraman, follow them. Yeah.
hunting. More cactus.
this is building a big structure over here. Riley, back over there with his solid one. Carolina and Sam still working at it. Sam trying to balance something that looks nearly impossible to get. This could be it. Chris has a nice foundation going. This is all going down. There is one minute left in this challenge. One minute. Because there is some solid competition. Chris also has a solid rock structure. Riley, professional rock stacker. Not, not looking too hot right now. Chris, that's a solid stack. This could be it. There is 30 seconds left in this challenge. Sam doesn't want to do that. Like literally Sam. You don't want to do that. That might fall. And Sam might stack it. This could be it. Carolina also catching up right now. Down. No, he, knocked he knocked it down. Oh. He knocked it down. Oh. Riley, that, that would have been worse. Chris has a solid stack. This, this could be it. I got you, brother. Yeah. Two, one, time! All right, everybody back. We're looking at this. All right, this is about right there. I'm using a stick because I don't really have a measuring tape right now, but that's okay. Sometimes you gotta improvise. Are you measuring my... Yes, I have one and a half Okay. Stick. Chris is right here. I'll mark that. <laughs> All right. That's yours. The last time in this game. Congratulations, Sam. Uh, Sam is in the like final it. three. Sam, you are in the final three. How does that make you feel? Relieved. Relieved? All right. But if we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We still got one tribal council to go through. I really didn't expect to win. I've never stacked rocks before, and I heard that Riley was good at it, so I was like, maybe I should just not even try. But then I tried, and it worked out in my favor. How do you feel to be so close to winning, just like a few inches away? Surprised. Honestly, really thought I was getting every single tribal. I was, I'm out. No, but still haven't got a vote. It's weird. Do you think you could win at this point? I do think I could win. I'm feeling a little uh, sketched out by this next tribal, but I think if I make it through this tribal, I have a definite shot of winning. And then who are you planning to vote off this round? I have to vote off Carol the Down for Um, what's your name? Boy. Girl, I forgot. Carolina? Carolina, that's right. Sounds like you're uh, okay. As the final four walked to their last tribal, 
they were asked to reflect on their former contestants and pay tribute to their fallen comrades in the rites of passage. Well, she uh, helped, um, well, was a part of my first alliance, I guess, sort of speaking. Uh, that didn't go too well, but she was a good team player. She's a, she's a very positive person, and I enjoy, I enjoy being on her team. It was just, I wasn't expecting a running challenge, and my breathing got really bad, and I really couldn't run. So, I guess I should have been more prepared. Uh, Carissa was one of the most positive tribe members, and we were all sad to vote her off early. But overall, she was a great player. Great. She's been around, even though we weren't on the same team, she's been really nice to me, and I'm sure everyone else here is a great person to have around the camp. Getting voted out, I feel like I expected it. Like, in my interview, I said something like, I know I'm the weak link this time, so I'm just gonna vote for someone who I know is not gonna get any other votes, so I'm not really hurting anyone. And. I don't know, I'm not incredibly hurt. Oh, Zach, my boy. Big uh, Zach, big Zach. Yeah, he was supposed to be my alliance man on the other side. He did He did really well in the start, but I felt I felt sad to also to vote him off. And it was just, Zach was... It was our first vote off and it was tough. Yeah, he was the... He was a member of my first alliance. Sad to see him go early, but... He was, he was great. Great guy. Had a nice hammock. Uh, right now I'm pretty confident that we pretty much have this in the bag. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way, but I really hope things work out. Rowan, awesome personality. Very good team player. Great to talk to. It's a great vibe. Rowan, he's... He was here today, and I had an amazing race with him before, and it was sad seeing him not, not get as far, but he was great to talk to throughout the day. He was a part of our really strong alliance in the start, but once we started, the numbers started going down, we had no choice. Um, but yeah, for when he was in the alliance, he was very loyal and true to the end. I feel okay. I sure would have got some merger, but I mean, Kind of, kind of had a coming when I lost. So I just want my team to win. I want one of them to win it. So, <laughs> but it's it was a good time. I had a good time while I was in it. I was surprised to see Dylan get up, voted out so early. For sure, it's a great player. He was. I viewed him as tough competition. He was really good. He Competitive, was, yeah. He was tough, but he was really smart. He, he had a lot of great qualities. Dylan was my main man going in. See him, seeing him drop early left me alone on my team, but ended up well for me, I guess. I feel um, betrayed. I feel as if they made a good play uh, in backstabbing me, um, but I feel as if I could have gone far if they didn't do so. Oh, let's go, baby! Yeah. No, I mean, that's our immunity. That's our immunity. I appreciate the loyalty of my teammates, but I also respect the play that the other alliance had made. I can't wait to be on season two. If I am on season two, that'd be awesome. I was shocked. Stephanie was in my alliance since the beginning, and. She was really helpful. She never had much hope in her completing this, but she got it this far and she was really great. Stephanie was one of the major competitors, in my opinion. She was quiet, but she was a great competitor, great team player. I knew the only reason I was staying is because I had an idol the first time and I had an alliance the second time. But my alliance didn't see it coming. We thought Noel was going to go, but guess what? Another way. I found it. It was pretty tough. A pretty good time to go. Also on my first alliance with Stephanie, and we got it far. And thanks to her, thanks to them both, I wouldn't have gotten this far. Truly, they were both really great. I thought she was 
awesome. Only voted her out of necessity. She was a good dad on the team for a bit. Jules was the last member of, of the green team to leave, but she, she did great. Uh, I didn't know Jules too well, but um, she was a great competitor in the food eating challenge, and I had a fun time going up against her. I mean, I saw it coming, and it's not really a huge bummer. It was like a two against four alliance, and I already knew it was going to happen, so I think this was really fun. I had a good time. Completely shocking, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. That came out of nowhere. He was also really tough, and... He's fast at sewing t-shirts also. <laughs> he was a very big competitor in all of our opinions, I think. He was a great asset to the team, and I sad to have to work to get him out of the team, but I, I enjoyed a lot with him. He was a valuable member of my alliance all the way through the game, uh, but in the end, it was either me or him, so. I'm a little hurt, but it was fun. The Survivor was fun. Uh, met a lot of people. Uh, the challenges were great. And someone in our alliance chose me. Are you ready for a rematch? I kind of want to do it. No, we believe in you! Come on! Go, no, Dylan! Alright, anyway. Alright, Dylan versus Noel. Survivor's ready. Go! Oh, it's going down! No! I'm a little shocked when Riley pulled out the immunity thing. All I could think was, shoot, it's either going to be me or Carolina. And it was me. <gasps> Next vote. No! All the voting tells me is that people see me or saw me as a threat and it'll be fun to see who wins. The muscle is out. Riley, Carolina, Sam, and Chris. You guys are the final four in Survivor. All right, I'll bring in the members of the jury. That is Carissa, Rowan, Dylan, Steph, Jules, and Noel. All voted out at previous tribal councils. They chose to stay on the jury, and they will be deciding who wins at the end of the day. All right. Okay, what has this experience been like for you, Sam? I've learned that it's all about the alliances. It's really all, you have to perform well, but it's also all about the alliances. Chris, what about you? Let's just go down the line. It's been a crazy road of twisting, turns, surprises out of nowhere. My best friend slash greatest teammate got knocked off, like, didn't even think that was going to happen at all, but it happened. And that's kind of just been a story. You never really know what's going to what's going to come next. What Sam said best basically it's all about the alliances because you never know what's going to happen. And it's been really fun, really challenging. I never thought it would get this far, but I did. Riley? Um yeah, it's all about the alliances you make and uh Honestly, these were all very competitive players, um, which is why I'm quite nervous going up against any of them in the final three, but, you know, <clears throat> I'm glad it's all the best sitting in the final four, and yeah. All right, so, have you guys learned anything about yourselves in this game, playing this game? I learned I can be a lot more cruel than I thought I could be. Me too. <laughs> I agree with you. But as needed. Yeah. So. Not unnecessarily. Cool. Yes. As needed. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, this is your last tribal council. 
We're not having anybody jump back in with water or anything, but so, but this is just the last tribal council. So are you guys ready to vote? Do you think you have a good idea of voting right now? Okay. Well, that being said, Riley, you know the drill. Get to it. Because he's a good guy, but I just I have to choose somebody now. Yeah, I want to know. About Carolina, she's the biggest threat out of all three left. Uh, I'll probably lose if she stays in. Okay, contestants for the last time. I'll go tally the votes. Okay, nobody has hidden immunity idols because that was last try to count. So, here we go. I'll read the votes. First vote, Chris. Next vote, Carolina. Carolina. That's two votes, Carolina. One vote, Chris. One vote, left. Ninth person voted out of Survivor Colorado. Carolina. I'm sorry, Carolina. It's time for you to bring me your torch. Carolina, the tribe has spoken. Played well. It's time for you to go. Thank you. All right. For real though, that was the hardest for us. <laughs> I saw it coming, to be honest. I knew that the guys had something all together and I, I knew it would happen. So I kind of braced myself before it, but I'm not disappointed. I got this far and I'm tired and I'm dirty and I'm burned. I'm sorry, I'm fine. I'm fine, definitely. It was really fun. It was really fun. I didn't honestly think I'd last this long, and I mean, I've met some people, I've made friends, so it was all good. Done, done, done! Shut up again! Well, you guys made it a long way. Feeling pretty comfortable right now? No. No? How, how, what are your thoughts going on in the tribal final? I know. Sugar. Well, guess what? You guys aren't done yet. We have one more vote to do. Somebody else is going home. What? All right. Sam is still immune. So that means Riley and Chris have to plead their case to Sam as to why they want to stay in Survivor and go to the finale. And Sam, you have to be the ultimate deciding vote on this on this challenge. <laughs> oh, oh. So, Chris, well, we'll start with you. Well, Sam, I haven't been there from the, from the beginning of the challenge, but I've been there in months past, not, not quite years, but months past. Uh, but we, were, we made a great team when we were working together after the merge, and I'd love to be in the final two and see you there with me. Riley? Bro, you know, been there since sixth grade, and uh, oh. you know, uh, we've been through a lot together, and uh, alliance from the start. Um, I think we've gone far in this game, and I think we can take it that to the end. All right, Sam. Are we just assuming that they're voting for themselves? Yeah, because they, they, they wouldn't be able to vote for you or me. Yeah. So, so it's just, just I know. So, they they have they can't vote they can't vote for you they have to vote for each other, right. so that cancels it out. So you're the only deciding factor yeah, here. But Riley could vote for Chris and Chris could vote for Chris or the other. Or Riley wants to vote for him. So. But Chris doesn't want to well, do we're that. We're doing Sam? it this way, okay? So shut up. All right, Sam, take it back. All right, back there. Yeah, back there. You're gonna cast one final vote, and then 
we'll see. This is certainly a twist. Did you expect that, Riley? Uh, not at all. I think but so. I like that twist. Oh, yes. I think it. You know, it makes it exciting, and I'm down for that. And that's one less person. If I do make it to the final two, that I have to go up against in the votes. So hear that, Chris. Ladies, your your thoughts? Shut that. up. Yeah. This twist definitely uh, wasn't expecting it at all. Not really liking it that much, but uh, it was great to be in the final three. Hopefully, I make final two. Hopefully, top one. But that all depends on Sam. Hear that, Sam? My fate relies on you. Riley, you and Sam have been friends since like sixth grade, he said, right? So, yeah. yeah. Oof. You know what I'm really disappointed about, though, guys? We never got to draw rocks in this season. I have all the rocks here. We never got to draw rocks. It's unfortunate. Maybe next season. Yeah, I was hoping we'd do that. All right. Sam, there we go. Uh, double power. All right. Final three, you guys have put it through a lot, but remember, the person getting voted out today will get to be on the final jury and they will get to vote who is winner, okay? The 10th person voted out of Survivor Colorado, Chris. I'm sorry, Chris, you're gonna need to bring me your torch. So, oh, Chris. Why? The tribe has spoken. It's been an honor playing with you, man. You're, you're a pretty good contestant. Nice job, bro. Sorry. Well, you guys. Wow. Sam, pretty big move, huh? Big move. Dude. All right. Well, you guys are done here. What we're going to do now, we're going to go back to the suburbs in the nice part of town, you know, and not the wilderness. And we are going to go back there, and we are going to have a, have a barbecue, and we'll do the final tribal council. I'll see you guys back there. Okay. Thank you, Survivor. Feels bad. I mean, top three felt great. Then losing felt bad. I was expecting that twist. Once he said that Sam, it was all on Sam to choose, I was fully expecting that... I would be, uh, I would be knocked out because, as we know, I would be the more popular both than Riley. It's a good thing by Sam. Riley and I have a history, and he was originally on my team, so that's why I've got to vote for Chris. Uh, what do you, what advice would you give to anyone like wanting to, uh, like the uh, two contestants continuing? No, the two contestants left. Um, what would you want to tell them? Don't be a dick to people right now, especially when they're voting on whether you win or not. Don't be a dick. Scenes in the car. I feel pretty good. Um, it was a great day and uh, I had a lot of fun doing this. There was a lot of strategy involved, a lot of great alliances. I met a lot of great new people and yeah, I, I uh, hope to win and we'll see what the jury says. I'm nervous but I'm excited. You know, I came out here, I felt like I performed, I did what I came to do, I think, and um, I met my goals using my hunting skills and my versatility and resourcefulness to to get up to this point so I'm just excited to see how it comes to fruition and I'm really thankful to Alex Johnson and Rockfest Studios for the for the uh, opportunity it's been great all right welcome everyone to the Survivor Colorado final tribal council you guys have been through a lot today, but overall, Riley and Sam 
overtook the competition and they're out here now trying to win. So we'll get right into it basically. Here's how it's going to work. Riley and Sam are going to start off by pleading their cases to you guys, the jury, Chris, Dylan, Jules, Steph, Carissa, Carolina, Noel, Rowan, and that's it. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get right into this. So you guys will stand up and announce and talk about how, why you guys think you should win. Okay. All right. Start it off then. Go alphabetically. So Riley, you'll go first. Cool. Uh, so I think I should win because I held really great alliances the whole time. I was behind a lot of great movements and plans. I was very strategic the whole time. Uh, I won a few of the challenges and of course helped my team win when we did win a few of them. Um, we made a lot of big movements and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. All right, Sam? I think first of all, um, I just want to say that I really enjoyed the day with all you guys. And not just saying that to suck up or anything, but it was it truly was very enjoyable. But I think <laughs> I should win because um, I also uh, held really strong lines. Lines was truthful and um, I kept my promises and uh, tried to boost up my team, boost up uh, both of our performance and morale, and um, yeah. All right, Riley and Sam, one of them at the end of this night will be crowned sole survivor of Survivor Colorado. So let's get into the main portion. Basically, you guys are the jury. The jury are, is a group of former contestants that got voted out, but they stayed around, and it was actually this time the first time ever that you were allowed to choose to be on the jury, and two contestants did not choose to be on the jury. So, we'll actually go in uh, elimination order by that about. So, Carissa, <laughs> you are going first. Okay. So stand up. Speak to them. So, I have one question, and it goes for both of you. What advice would you give someone who would do the same experience as Survivor coming into it? First of all, I would say that uh, make a small core of two, three other people at the beginning who you know you can really, really trust and stick together and always revolve your alliances and strategies around them because you always need those people who you know to always be able to really, really trust to, to uh, to start off whatever you want to do, and then also include other people, um, but really have that small core to always count on. Uh, I would say to not be afraid to make big moves, uh, because that's really what makes the game move forward, and uh, big moves kind of bring everything together. Without big moves, you don't really move forward at all. So, like, there were a lot of times that I thought, yeah, that's the simple answer, but um, what would be the bigger move that could get everyone further and uh, would ultimately make a, a big turn in the game? Next contestant, Rowan, I think that was you. Stand up, Rowan, it's on you. Okay, so this is just for Sam. Uh, why did you pick Riley over Chris? I picked Riley over Chris. The biggest reason was because he was on my original team, and I wanted to kind of honor that uh, original core connection. And cause he was, uh, even though we really, really worked with Chris closely once the teams merged, Riley was like uh, an integral part you. of getting to that point for me. Um, and so I kind of wanted to honor that. Next one is Dylan. Go for it. Uh, I have a question for both of you. So, um, Riley, uh, Sam, why do you think you deserve to be over them for each reason, vice versa? Why do you think you're, you deserve that $100, that sole survivor? You know, why do you think you deserve it over the person sitting next to you? Yeah, I think I deserve it over <laughs> Riley because uh, even though I loved the man, 
he uh, he did. He was an amazing, amazing, amazing contestant. But I think I was super passionate and uh, really took it to the max as much as I could, and uh, and really utilized strategy, uh, engineered a lot, partnering on some uh, big moves and the strategies that engineered where we are now. Um, I would say we're pretty even, honestly, contestant-wise. The one thing I would say um, I was willing to do that Sam wasn't is, um, well, you could take this either way, but he, he liked to keep promises and stick with similar people. I was very much willing to break that um, because, you know, at the end it's just about getting to the to the final, you know. So, um, like his promise with um, Noel, I get the promise, but we probably could have made the plan a lot smoother and a lot easier had he been just willing to break that promise. You could see that either way as, oh, he was being, you know, sticking to his word. I would have just seen it as like, it's just a game, so do what you can to get forward, but yeah. All right, next person, I think it was Steph. Right? Yep. Alright, step. So, if you could bring one other person, besides the person sitting next to you to the final, who would you bring? I would, I would still have Chris in there. I didn't really enjoy illuminating him. I wish, uh, even though it was great for the content, great for the viewer, and that is a cool twist uh, as a contestant. I didn't really enjoy that twist. Um, so, I would, I would still have Chris up here. Uh, I would have Carolina for sure. Um, because it, that was a really hard vote, and uh, I think she was a worthy opponent, and, um, yeah. All right, I think it's Jules next, right? All right, go yeah. for Jules. Uh, how does it feel to know that you've come so far and that you might not walk away with the $100? Well, <laughs> it, <laughs> it, I haven't really thought about it that way. Uh, you know, the money's cool, but it's not it's t totally about that. I just, uh, it's been a really fun time, and I, you know, if, if Riley were to win, I'd be super happy for him, especially because uh, he's a good friend. Uh, he's a really good guy. Um, so it, it wouldn't really bother me. You can pay for your car window. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it wouldn't bother me too much just because I was just happy I got to experience the whole game. Like I got to experience all the challenges, all the tribal councils all the way to the end. That was the most important part to me was just um, experiencing everything, like being there till the end. Um, so the money is cool but um, lasting till the final tribal council was pretty cool. So Okay, Noel, you're up next. Alright, my question for both of you is simply, what would you do if you won that hundred dollars? I would um, put in my bank account, um, as uh, some of you, as probably all of you know, no matter what happens today, I'm coming out losing money <laughs> doing things, so... I would, I, would, I would lose less money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll touch on that real quick. If you guys didn't know, Sam's car window got broken into. So, you know, uh, at Ute Valley Park. Nothing was so, stolen. Nothing was nothing stolen. stolen. It might have just been like a pebble or something that Wait, hit it, it the wrong way. Cover that? But, so that's oh, that's what happened. Alright, continue. <laughs> uh, I would use the hundred to... Um, I've been playing on this fancy date I've been wanting to do for a while, so... Ooh. Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> the Olive Garden? To uh, to the Broadmoor. <laughs> oh! Me and Kaylin are going... Yeah, we're trying to get a trip up there, so... Yeah. And it's kind of expensive, so I'd put money to that. Just, just, yeah, just, just a little. Just, <laughs> just a little. It's kind of bougie. Alright. Um, who's next? Carolina. Alright, go for it. This was actually kind of bugging me. Um, did you guys vote me out because I'm a girl or because like I was actual competition? I that was 
bugging me too, first of all, that it might appear that way <laughs> to you, or that you might feel that way, and because it might appear that way to others, and, but the uh, biggest reason for me was that I, I thought you would probably win if you got to the last three, <laughs> so that's why I think. Like I said, you were a great competitor. I thought like 90% for sure like you'd win. So uh, yeah, that's a, that's about it. Also, I wasn't about to um, turn on Sam. He was in my lines from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And um, if I had voted Chris in that final one, I'd still feel like it wouldn't have really gone uh, how it was supposed to be planned. Like. It would have ended up a tie, and then I would have been in the running to be voted out. So, yeah, it was just easier to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next contestant, Chris. In the final one. Chris? Okay, so I didn't really make any questions. Uh, so I'm just going to ask Yanni or Laurel. And my vote goes to you depending on what you say, so make your <laughs> answer count. <laughs> if they say the same thing. I'm voting for both of them. Oh. <laughs> Why do you vote for me? Alright. <laughs> well, answer the question. Alright, wait. Same time. Three, two, one. Laurel. Laurel. Yes. That was the egg. <laughs> uh, okay. Chris, do you want to do another question? <sighs> yeah, let me. Green needle or brainstorm. Uh, Alright. Uh, so, let me ask you. Pick a number one through ten. <laughs> oh, he's the fuck. Do you have one though? It's not a question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can pass it. Yo, I totally heard that. Yeah, Everybody heard that, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I did. Really I didn't. Okay, the okay. camera uh, probably like, did though. Maybe don't share <laughs> it this time. I'll do it depending on the taps on your back. Can you see that? No. No. Alright. Alright. Pick a number, guys. Four. Ooh, tactical. I do. All right. With <laughs> that being said, Sam, Riley, you guys have come a long way, but this is where it really matters. So, what you guys are going to do is stand up, give one last plea to the jury, one last I want to win to the jury, and why, and then we will vote for the winner of Survivor Colorado. I'm pleading for all of your votes uh, because I, uh, I feel that I should win because of my etiquette throughout the competition and uh, my dedication to uh, my team and uh, a competitive spirit overall. So a vote for Sam would send me straight to the top. If you know my last name, it's a it's a good pun. It's a good It's a good presidential slogan right there. Uh, so, throughout the game, I really held myself in a good position. Um, I had, I held on to a few immunity idols. I um, uh, won a few challenges and overall stuck with my alliances and, uh, yeah, made some big moves. Most of those moves were with Sam, but hey, you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, yeah. Alright, well I think we are good. So, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. 12 hour day, and we're finally here. Here we go. Basically, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off back in the order that uh, you guys were eliminated in. And you guys are gonna go back there. You're going to uh, vote for one person to win Survivor Colorado. Remember, you want to vote for that person. You're not voting out somebody, you're voting for that person, okay? All right, so with that being said, Carissa, you're up first. Let's do this. So, I want Sam to win Survivor because the entire time I was rooting for Riley, but towards the end their speeches really showed that Sam was a team player that paid off, and Riley kind of pushed everyone else down to get to the top.
Good speech, good game. See you season two. I chose Sam because, well, he kind of stuck to his promise and with his car window kind of breaking, he kind of needs the money to help out with that. pick Riley. The reason? My number was two, and he guessed four, and Sam guessed five. Alright, for the last time on season one of Survivor Colorado, I will be tally the votes. Have you ever played Wii Sports? Dude, dude. Oh, yes. Like, I have a bunch of favorite Wii sports. Favorite. Tennis. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a tennis guy. I'm not gonna lie. Because I go up to the TV and I go. Yeah, you just go. It's the best. Sword fighting. I was a god. Sword fighting and Wii boxing. Dude, I was the best. Are we gonna sing in the jungle again? I'm recording. Come on. If he doesn't put this in, I'll be sad. No, he's gonna be like, I'll get these people early in my broadcast. Look at these unprofessional cast members. I don't think they're coming back for season two. I don't think so. No, watch this be the trailer for season two. Let's all see. It's like, it's actually the voice. It's going on. Oh, look at that balance. Can it just be us singing in the background of an actual really cool thing? Alex, you know the voice next. We just keep singing about Linda. Like reality. Uh, Let's do oh, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. <laughs> no, 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 no. How about Naked and oh, Ooh, Wipeout? Let's do Wipeout. <laughs> All the lawsuits, though. <laughs> yes, permission slips. Guys, there might be a lawsuit. Permission slip. <laughs> See, you signed this. I'm not liable for your death. Wait, death? You said I did. <laughs> oh, I have had way too much. Say, try to get out. What's the last time Wipeout was on TV? I don't know. It's so sad. It's so good. No, no. Wipeout's better. I was actually talking to him. Have you guys ever played the show now? Oh, I've been recording this one. All right, everybody, we're back Good stuff. at Survivor Colorado. Before, I love you! <laughs> I read these last few votes. Uh, I just want to let everybody know that this has been a dream of mine to do since third grade. And I've always wanted to host Survivor or like Total Drama or something like that. So. I'm really excited for this, and here we go. After these votes are read, decision is final. The person who wins will win a hundred dollars in cold card hat, cold card cash, and cold card cash. Okay, cold card hat, and and they will win the title of Soul Survivor for Survivor Colorado season one. I will read the votes. First vote, Riley. Whoa! One vote, oh, Riley! Riley. Oh, my children! Alright, next vote. Sam. Alright. Sam, I love you! Have my children! Next vote. <laughs> Riley. Yeah. Sam <laughs> Next vote. Sam. Yeah. Oh, no. 
Next vote, Riley. That's three votes, Riley, two votes, Sam. Next vote, Sam. Okay. I love you too. <laughs> you guys are tied, but there's still two votes left. Two, two votes left. Next yes. vote, Riley. And the final vote of Survivor Colorado, Sam. Okay, so what happened is that we were just uh, having a couple production issues back back there. That's why I called Rowan for any castaway back there. Just to like uh, confirm that this is a tie in that case. So basically what we're going to do now is... Well, we the one thing I've wanted to do all day today... Rock. 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 Oh, yeah. oh, for the so, winner? So, yeah, because we can't, we can't copy people who have also had ties in their seasons. Cameraman so. suffrage. I so. vote Ian votes. Yes. It's yes. about time. <laughs> <laughs> Let the man use Do you want to draw rocks or let Ian vote? We'll let let you guys Ian vote. Rock. Raise your hand if you want to draw rocks. Uh, actually, I changed my mind. I don't know who This is only the jury. Okay. Split you want to draw rocks? Draw rocks? Here's, draw rocks. Uh, yeah. That's a majority. <laughs> okay, good. I don't know who I want to. Okay. I don't like this decision. You guys fine with this? I wish there was a better way. It doesn't matter. I wish there was a better way to. Alex, you vote. You, you were close. Oh. All right, all you're going to do, draw these rocks. Close your eyes. Who draws a rock first? You can see through the back. It doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> okay, well, close your eyes while you draw. Wait, which, yeah. which rock do we want? You are looking for the white rock. Can you mix it up more again? <laughs> yeah. close, close your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, close your eyes. Put the bandanas over your eyes. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. They're both wearing glasses. Just have one be like, <laughs> take the yeah. just... All right, here we go. Is your bandana on there? Okay, it's you guys down, can't yeah. see? Okay, Sam. Okay, once you get your your rock, you're going to hold it in your hand and uh, not mess with it or anything. Okay, just uh, wait for it to be revealed. Okay, Sam. Good shaking in there. It's a hundred dollar pick, man. <laughs> show it. Don't show it yet. Don't show it. You gotta hold it in your hand. Okay? All right. All right, Riley. Draw a rock. Okay. All right. You got it. Okay. Hold it in your hands. Okay. Review. Uh, take your bandages off. Bandages off. Okay. All right. You're gonna hold out your palm just like so, and then after that, we will have a winner of what Survivor. What rock are we looking for? Colorado. You are looking for a white rock. Are you ready? When I count down from three, you guys are gonna reveal. All right. Three. Two. One. Reveal. The winner of Survivor Colorado, Riley Burgess! Woo! Good job! Well, there's a 50-50 chance, so I feel like I deserve as much, but it was a split tie, so whatever. That's Are you gonna buy his window? <laughs> No. <laughs> All right, well, Riley, he's gonna take his girl on a night. Well, guys, that has been it. Survivor Colorado, Riley Burgess, you are winner of a hundred dollars. Yeah. Thank you. And I hope to see you all sometime soon for season two, Survivor Colorado Yo! Battle Rap. You guys are good to go. Thank you so much. See ya, Alex. Thank you so much. Uh, you want this slider? Uh, yeah. Okay. This slider's my land. Yeah. I'm glad I made that deal, man.
What is your social security number? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how do you feel about Riley winning? Uh, it, it had to come down to him or Sam. I uh, wish it was Sam. Uh, Sam really deserved the money, but hey, Riley is going to Rushmore with his girlfriend, so that's, that's good for him. I feel good about it. He was my vote, so... I, I think his speech was good. I think he played a good game. I was really impressed with his eating challenge. And yeah, overall, I think he's a deserving sole survivor winner of the $100. In the end, do you feel that he deserved to win more than you? I don't know about that. Um, I still feel as if my blind side earlier was, uh, was a little uh, harsh. But that's the game of Survivor, and honestly, I do think he, he played the game better than me. I mean, in the end, it really is all about luck. I mean, obviously, there's skill involved, but uh, yeah, I think he's definitely deserving of the sole Survivor. How do you feel about Sam losing? That was a really, really tough choice. Like, honestly, I thought they were both capable of winning, for sure. It was, like, it was even hard to vote, but... They both yeah, really yeah, great. and Riley out. deserves it, and Sam deserves it. Catching so, things it's really good. Um, my head. You know, part of me is like, yeah, because you know, he kind of, he kind of kicked me off and screwed me. But you know, another part of me is like, dang, I wish he would have won because you know, his window got broke. That sucks, and he's one of my good friends. So yeah, kind of mixed feelings about it. But I mean, I didn't get the hundred, so I'm kind of bummed about that. Who did you end up voting for? I voted for Sam, <laughs> even though Riley told me that he would have chosen me, and I believed him, but I believe Sam had the potential to win, and so did Riley, but Sam was really hardworking at the end, for sure. I did end up voting for Riley because I said pick a number one through ten, Riley said four, uh, Sam said five, and I got, and I, my number is two, Riley was closer. Um, if Survivor Colorado was to do a season two, would you be back? Okay, now watch this. I'd have to mentally and physically prepare myself for next time. I just kick my butt. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> but yeah, I think I would. You know, it was awesome. It was an awesome ride. It really came down to the wire. It was pretty much random. At the, it was random at the end, so no one had any control over that. Um, but I'm super happy with the whole experience, and I'm glad Riley won. He's an awesome person to win, very deserving, and it was a great day. Oh, feels pretty great. I have money to do stuff now, so that's cool. And uh, it was a great day, and you know, honestly, I pretty much knew I was going to win, not to brag. Uh, yeah, it was a fun time. I always thought I'd do good in Survivor, and this was a good chance to live that out. You, would you come back for a season two if ever necessary? You know, if I'm available, if I can, I'll be here. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah? Yeah. Well, that's cool, man. It, so what are you going to do now? Now I'm going to go back to slaying all the cougars. We thank you for watching all of Survivor Colorado, and we hope you enjoyed what went down. We hope that you guys will stick around. Check out the amazing race, Colorado, if you haven't. And we hope you guys will check out future seasons of Survivor and The Amazing Race and all the other competitions from Rockledge Studios. So, thank you guys, and this has been Survivor Colorado. Pull back, pull out, Bessie. All right, Ian, what were your thoughts on the final Tribal Council? Uh, I was kind of sad I couldn't vote because cameraman suffrage, you know, cameraman lives matter, but uh, same point, I don't know who I'd pick between the two. I mean, like, Sam, <laughs> Sam's a cougar hunter, you know, but Riley, Riley's like ultimate frisbee, frisbee bros, you know, you feel me? So, Ian, uh, if there was a season two, would you, would you consider being a participant in it? Oh, yeah. I'd be a participant. I could even talk in a funny voice like this. Hi guys. Hi, how are you? Go back Hi. to the frat, frat boy. Oh, okay. Hey bro. So, uh, I was like, 
I wanted to be a participant, but Alex cut me before the show even started. And it feels pretty Brad, man, though, but it's feels okay. Brad. It feels Brad. Brad. It feels real Brad. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Ian? I mean, like, I was a pretty good cameraman. That's actually a lie. I slept through part of it. And got <laughs> half of the shots, but I mean, like, if I had a GoPro or something, like, on the next one, just so I'm kind of a cameraman, kind of a participant, it's all good. Or I, or I could do my Canadian knots and eh? How about that, eh? Rat hey, boy. bud. <laughs> no, this is how I talk when I play hockey, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bud, nice goal right there. Oh. Anything? Okay, thank you, Ian. You're thank you for your time. Please. Please. Stay tuned until after the credits to see a sneak peek at what competition is coming next. I'm sorry to tell you, you are the last team to arrive. You, you've both been eliminated from the race. I was like, I wanted to be a participant, but Alex cut me before the show even started. And it feels pretty Brad man though. Jules. Carissa. Chris. Dylan. Tribe is spoken. Sorry, it's time for you to go. I can't wait to be on season two. If I am on season two, that'd be awesome. All right, welcome everyone to season two of Survivor, Colorado. I intend to win Survivor Colorado with three S's. Strength, survival, strength, and unpredictability. <laughs> When it comes down to it, the vote can go any way, and it's not about how good you did. So I'm really going to try to make relationships. 